Hey everyone, it's your boy Hash and today we are in the city of love, Paris. Pero I already found my love back in the Philippines so we're here for my sister. Wait, I left it. Okay, so my most embarrassing moment came on the first day. Kasi naglalakad ako and Amira was in front of me. Ngayon may lumapit na dalawang lalaki sa kanya. Kinausap sure something. Tapos she pointed at me. So tatlo sila nakatingin sa akin. Napatigil ako, sabi ko. Di ko naman ano yung dapat reaction ko. I'm like, na tapos umalis na si Amira. So sumunod ako sa kanya. Sabi ko, ano mo sabi nila? Kala ko baka naghihingi sila ng directions or something. Ayun pala, sabi niya, I think they were asking for my number. So she pointed at me. My brother. Like I thought you would be like the protective bro. Ano? Wala mo ako alam. Dula ko narinig. Ala yung ko. I'm like a few meters away. Tapos piglang. There were three guys. So for my number. There's two lang. Grabe ka naman. So we're asking for your number, and you're pointing at your brother. No. Well, I don't just know. You say, oh, um, thanks, but just say something like, oh, I'm not interested, or maybe I already have. I already said that, and then they said, uh, they were trying to like. Do you think they even heard you when you said? I'm with my brother? Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, but do you think they heard you or baka... Uh, I like, don't think they understood. Like, I don't think that they are good at English. Yeah, maybe they just they're like, Oh, you got my number? They Look at this guy no, behind me. They said no, bro. It's like, I don't understand. You don't understand English? Yeah, Sabi mo? You should make up your own language para kunwari hindi ka naman mag-English or mag-French. Right now, it's... Flex ko lang yung bracelet ko, big exam. Okay, it's 9 o'clock right now and we're going out to have breakfast sa isang boulangerie, which means bakery in French. Okay, so my sister is buying souvenir. Let's look at the name of this bakery. It says, Pom Pain. Masasaktan ata ako pag pumunta ako doon. For your boyfriend? For mom. For mom? And I your boyfriend? And what about your boyfriend? I'm single. Oh, she's single, guys. How about for yours? Hoy! Ka. Naisip ko na yung title, Hashim in Paris with Amira. <laughs> Ayun na. Learn French better than Emily. Hindi ako namasa sa labas kasi it's sobrang open. Hindi mo ako malapit sa mga tao. Pero syempre pag papasok ako, hindi nakamask ako. And naubusan yung mask ko, bumili ako dito sa pharmacy. About 600 pesos ang sampung mask. I think since sobrang mahal, it will protect me from everything. Lahat ng sakit. <laughs> so we're finally here sa boulangerie which means bakery. Tapos tingnan nyo kung gano'ng kasakit to. Pain, pain. The long basis yung sakit. Actually, it's pronounced pan, which means bread. Okay, so we're outside and ang bango. Ano, Amira, does it smell good? It smells so good. I'm waiting to go in. I want chocolate croissants. Croissant. 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 Say it. Croissant. Not a croissant. Croissant. I'm French. Croissant. Pakasang panin kanila pag isa yung croissant. Chocolate. Croissant. Okay, good job. Okay, so let's go in. So I couldn't wait. I have to eat this right now. It is a croissant au beurre, which means buttered croissant. So good. Oh my gosh. I really like it. Okay, so we're ready to have breakfast. Kinain ko na yung croissant ko, and it tasted so good. Talagang, it's like really different from any other croissant I've ever had. Here we have the baguette. It's called a traditional baguette. I'm not sure why, but if you're here, you ask for a traditional. It's more good than the traditional. And then, pan or chocolate. I think it's more good than what you have. And coffee eclair thing. Alam ko mga hulog, coffee it yung thing. So, my breakfast today isn't super healthy, pero we're on vacation, so okay lang mag-spoil mo na. Let's try the chocolate first. Nag-antay si Mir ng reaction ko. Ang sarap. And it's so soft. So good. Pano yung chocolate, pero it's enough for some reason. Ating kapatid tayo. Medyo madali lang sirain itong baguette. Kala ko matigas, pero ang lambot. Kasi you can eat it with other things like cheese, pero I don't have butter. Ang sarap ng baguette nila, kahit walang kalaman. And sakto yung tigas and crunchiness kasi yung ibang baguette sa ibang bansa, you have to <laughs> parang kaaway mo ang sabang tigas. I don't know how to do it, but it's so easy to break. Now, for the eclair. I actually never, I don't really eat this. Masyada matamis, pero sabi ko, maybe I should try. So, here we go. Creamy on the inside, pero hindi matamis. Parang sakto lang. You should try it. It's coffee like coffee. Mine is really good. 
No, it's really good. Parang hindi mo atak ginagalaw yun. Ano yun? Really good. I know it's really good. Sabi niya, it's really good, this. Ito yung kinuha niya. Sabi ko, parang it's really good. Hindi mo pa ginagalaw, oh. <laughs> Kinahanap ko yung kagat. Wala namang kagat. Okay, so see you later once we're done eating. So, if you're ever in Europe, kasi ang alam ko sa paggalit sa Pilipinas, mas magat magdalang ng dollars para mag-exchange sa pera. Pero dito sa Europe, hindi ganun kaganda exchange nila sa dollars. Ang options mo is usually mas maganda mag-exchange ka sa bank sa Philippines ng Euro. Huwag kayo magdala ng dollars dito. Most exchange places ang pang ng palitan. So, I think I found a good place dito sa Paris. Sobrang baba ng fees nila. But let's see talaga kung maganda or hindi. Okay, so let's go. Okay guys, so nakapagpalit na tayo ng dollars to euros. Ang pinakita na lang rate, hindi ganun kaganda. So sabi ko, hindi ba ito yung site nyo? Sabi nila, yes, that's our site. Sabi ko, ba't mas maganda yung rate nyo sa website? Sabi nila, if you want the better rates, you have to go to our store and say, I want the yes change rate. Of course, I'm a math guy, so like, I try to get the best value out of everything. Talagang sobrang tipid ko ako on everything. So when I asked them for the yes change rate, I got like an extra 70-ish euros, which is like 4,000 pesos. I think so you know I'm kind of happy that it worked out and I finally found an exchange with good rates me kasabay akong American so I said you're changing money he's like yeah I said go to this website and let them know you want this rate he changed only like $400 but he got like an extra $12 gonna something like that so now that we exchange money we can time of shopping see you guys in a bit That was awkward. So I think they said the talent na yari ba na shopping ako dito sa area ng mga designer stores. Sabi ng tumutulong sa akin, it's Fashion Week. You know, I'm obviously invited sa Fashion Week kamera, but yata wala akong maglakad, so you know, I'll just stay home na lang. There are too many girls, models. Masasabi sabi mo? I only want one girl, and I have her. Anyway, we missed our lunch reservation kasi dahil sa Fashion Week, sobrang busy dito. So, I can't get a taxi. Ang hirap ko muna ng Uber na ilan cancel sila. I'm gonna skip lunch. I have a planned photo shoot for later tonight, me and Amira, for Instagram pictures. Before my photo shoot, I want to look good. Okay naman buhok ko, but gusto kong payusin. So, let's go to a salon and let's see kung anong gagawin nila. Pero syempre, medyo guguluhin ko muna para mukha akong ewan. And then ask them to fix it. Okay guys, so here's the final result. I don't know, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my gosh, I will have to take a shower. Try to ice it myself and sana. I don't want to show my face. I hope it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's just the way he styled it. I don't like it. When it's like this, I think it's fine. So, Amir got her hair fixed in a different salon. Mine is also... I like mine now. I'm just going to ice it. I'm going to get ready. Bye. So na yun mag nagisimula yung photo shoot namin. Anami has gone first. Let's take a video. Let's see. Nangyiti na siya. Good. Yeah, and I, I like these ones. These are nice. Yeah. Let me see some of them here. Okay. And what's this place called? Royal Palace. Oh my god, this is the wrong jacket. I got the wrong jacket kasi Mariam bought me a jacket. So gusto ko isulit. So, post ako ng post sa likod. Gusto ko pakita yung logo. Pero sabi ko, asa yung logo? Hindi ko makita. This is a different jacket. Oh my gosh, yun ko. Sorry, Mariam. But you know, it's my favorite. And the way I was posing talaga, akala ko. When you're taking photo shoots, you want different clothes. Kahit saan ka mag-ibis. Si Amir naghanap ng toilet to change. Ako dito lang. Kasi t-shirt lang naman. Okay, ready. So while I was trying to take off the tag, napunit yung damit. Oh my gosh. So, ito yung punit. Actually, style yan. Fashion week, di ba? Fashion week, no? Oh 
Okay, so I actually used to really like traveling alone. When we were in Morocco, I traveled to a different city alone and like, enjoyed talaga ako. Kahit isang araw lang yun, I went to Vietnam alone and I've been to other places alone and I kind of like the experience because it's unique and you go at your own pace. Of course, I enjoy spending time with my family and I've traveled way more with them. Pero ngayon, I thought I would like traveling to France alone but to be honest parang ayoko gawin pag hindi ko siya kasama so like i don't want to experience the eiffel tower i don't want to see the mona lisa i don't want to go to the louvre kasi i'm not with her pero ito yung eiffel tower so you guys can see ayan yung eiffel tower it's actually really pretty sa malayo parang ayoko na mapit ang ganda ng paris i want to come back but with her hopefully someday and of course other countries you want to do these experiences with the people you love whether it be your family or your boyfriend or girlfriend parang experiencing it alone isn't as exciting anymore okay so that's it for today's video. My next stop will be Italy and I'll let you know how it goes. Gusto ko sana sumakay sa train dito pero ang dami nagsasabi sa akin, huwag kang sumakay kasi ang daming magnanakaw. Pag may dala ako, like camera or something, ayoko mag-train. Uh, pero I think mas okay naman sa Italy kasi yung mga long distance train, hindi yung sa subway sa baba. And I think it's safer. For Italy, I think I have a better idea of paano ko gusto ipakita sa inyo. For short, here in France, if you guys want to know the price, Per day, you'd spend maybe 15 to 50 euros on food per person. The place can be anywhere from around 100 to 3 400 euros per night, depending on how many kayo and what you're willing to settle for, say Airbnb, for example. Ako, I actually don't mind staying in a medyo hindi ganong kagandang lugar, as long as it's safe. Most of the time, I'm outside. I mean, if you're gonna be in Europe, usually na sa labas ka. So I already get a place where I can sleep and shower. Hindi ka lang ganong kaganda kasi, hindi mo mag enjoy ng yung sala for example like or your kitchen because I'll be eating outside I'm just here to sleep and shower that's all so where I'm staying in hindi ganun kaganda like Narinig mo, nag-squeak yung floor pero katabi grocery, may mga restaurants like 2-3 minute walk away. So, ang ganda ng lugar. Ayun ang habol ko na travel. I don't have to stay in a super expensive hotel kasi sayang. Like, I won't be in the place for too long so why should I spend more in here if I can spend more outside? So, that's my that's my thinking and um, that's how I travel. I'll try to show you more of the next country I go to. I want to show you how beautiful the countries here are also. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Comment what you'd like to see me do in a future video and don't forget to subscribe bye